80. Which compound in each of the following pairs has the larger lattice energy? And then note, Mg2 plus and Li plus have similar radii, and O2 minus and F minus have similar radii. And then we have to explain our choices. Okay, so we have our two compounds here, our two ionic compounds, lithium fluoride, which is LiF, and magnesium oxide, which is MgO. Which one of these has the largest or the larger lattice energy? Now, when we're talking about lattice energy, there's basically only two properties in which a ionic compound will have a large lattice energy. And this all comes from either the size of the ions that are in the ionic compound. If your atomic radii is much smaller for one compound than another, that will raise the lattice energy. And also, the lattice energy increases as the amount of electrons that are transferred from the metal to the nonmetal in the ionic bond uh, increases. So if you have one electron being transferred versus two electrons, the two electrons ionic compound will have a greater lattice energy. So the first thing is, is that let's just see what are the ions that make up lithium fluoride and magnesium oxide. So between lithium and fluorine, right, the cut between this uh, ionic compound would be just Li and F. And now we just have to know uh, what the charges are, right? And lithium is in group one, right? So that's a plus one. And the fluorine halogen group, group 17, 7A, that's a minus one. And then magnesium and oxygen, the cut is between the two elements. So they break down. And we have magnesium, we got oxygen. Magnesium is in group two on the periodic table, so that's a plus two, and oxygen is a minus two. Now, in this case, they did say that magnesium and the lithium have similar radii. So as far as um, comparing which one is smaller, right, which one has the largest or the smallest radius, the radius between Li plus one and Mg plus two, they're the same. So they have very similar radii. And they also said that the O2 minus and the F uh, minus also had very similar radii. Okay, so I can't really compare radii to radii because the cations, the positives, they're pretty similar. And the anions, the negative ones, they're pretty similar as well. So I can't make any, you know, predictions as to who's going to have the larger lattice energy with just the radius. So I have to go with the electrons transferred. Well, between Li plus, so maybe we'll do it like this, Li plus and Mg versus F minus and O2 minus. Now, for lithium and fluorine, right, the idea here is that lithium lost one electron, it's a plus one charge, and fluorine gained it. So in this case, the electron that was transferred was one electron, which I'll just write as E minus. Now, if I come over to magnesium and oxygen, magnesium lost two electrons, and the oxygen gained two that was lost. So in this case, the transferred is two electrons. The higher the um, amount of electrons that are transferred from the metal to the nonmetal, that tells you that you got a stronger connection and that will raise the lattice energy. So we have two electrons versus one. This has more electrons transferred. And because of that, if we're going just by the charges, we know that MgO would have the larger lattice energy because the more electrons that are being transferred, the closer the bond, um, the more attraction that you got. Two is better than one as, as far as electrons being transferred. And that's it. I hope this helped. Thanks for tuning in. Uh, if you want to help us out, please hit the subscribe button. Tell your friends, tell your classmates about this cool YouTube channel. Thank you so much for all your support thus far. And I hope you're doing uh, well out there. And I'll talk to you soon. Okay, bye-bye.